Happy Thursday, everybody. So we rode the train because we're going to the Orlando Science Center today, which is actually very close to the train station, so. And I've never been on the train, so that was actually really cool. I was a little bit scared at first, uh, just because trains are scary, I think, sometimes. But it was it was really nice. It was a nice ride. Yeah. We're here at the Orlando Science Center, and the last time we were here, we made some origami hearts for this love bridge. It's an art installment of origami hearts in the, or in the rainbow in honor of the pulse victims. We're here at the Orlando Science Center. One of the things that's new since the last time we were here is Kids Town, and we don't have kids, but they have given us permission yeah, to go in. You can't go in without a child normally, but they said, for you guys, we'll let you go in and show everybody what it's all about. So let's go check it out. First thing we're gonna check out is the Orange Grove. They used to have an Orange Grove in the old kids' town. This one's all new. Whoa, there's so much going on here. Like, it looks like you can... I think you can do lots of stuff with them. You pick them off the tree, and you put them in the bike, right? Right here. Right here. Put it in there. And then they pedal it, and it takes it up, and takes it over to the... I think so. It takes us to this hopper. And they've got a truck, and the truck actually returns all the oranges back to the trees. Oh, this looks like a, a washing station here. Yeah, you can like wash the oranges after you pick them. Oh, that was exciting. There are a ton of kids running around here, but there is a little quarantined off section for toddlers so they don't get run over by the big kids. After the orange grove, we head through this little hallway here with what looks like colored shadows. Run out there, Jen. Show me the different colors of your shadow. Whoa. That's exciting. I'm doing the Macarena. Like I like it, like figment. <laughs> Go to the other one, it's like blue and green. This, um, this reminds me Whoa. of a bunch of, like, of uh, Colortopia. Yeah. Epcot, except for I feel like this is less crowded. Yeah. So maybe come here and try this one. <laughs> Ooh, this area is called Climb Time. Ooh, it's like a soft play. It's What's like a giant. Cool? A giant climbing structure. Holy macaroni. Sorry, Jen. We are a little bit older than the ages of four to seven. Not much though. Yeah. Just a few years. But you know what adults can do? What? They can put the balls into these chutes and shoot balls up to the kids, and then the kids send them back down through these other tubes. How much fun is that? And after the climber, we're heading into Explore It. And I guess drip drop splash. Whoa, look at this. It's even in the ceiling now. Holy cow. Oh look at this. Wait, wait, go spin that knob over there, Jen. Oh, what's happening? Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that. You did it. I made water. <laughs> There's like a little area for the toddlers to sit in and play with the water. You can like go in the center there. Oh, I want to get, can I go in there or is it only for children? No, you can go in there, but the water's, the ground's all wet. So your knees will get all wet. Maybe I'll go in next time. Okay. I'll have to come back. You know what I should get are those mom jeans with the plastic knees. I didn't even know that that was a thing. I'll put a picture of it right here so that you can see it, but those would be perfect. Put your finger in there. Ooh. I How did cool it. is that? Oh no, Ryan. it's raining next to us. <laughs> right next to the drip drop splash area is Kids Town Studio. And it kind of just looks like this is an area where you could sit down for a moment and do some activities. Next to that is Harriet's Kids Town Theater, which looks like you can go up on stage and play dress up. Oh look, oh. you can make a card. Now it sends it over to the Florida Hospital for Children. How cool is that? Next up is Explore It. Look at this. Holy macaroni. Oh, oh look. Ooh. Wow. Go put a scarf in there, Jen. Oh, where did it go? Which one was it? The yellow one? Yeah. Oh, it already came out. Ooh, they have like a Bernoulli table here where you can make the balls fly. I think what you do is you take the pipe and you put it in the input, or you take it from the output and you put it in the input and it controls something. So take that off. Take this off? Yeah, pull it out from the white part. Okay. Look, now those fans stopped. Oh. Now put them back on. And then the fans start up again. That's pretty neat. I like this. Yeah. Put it in the bottom. Whoa! They have these little tracks where you can build your own ball roller coaster. Oh, look at it go! Look at it! Oh, it came off the track. That's awesome. Check out these kaleidoscopes. You like mess around with the colored tiles here, and it affects what happens. Look at your hand! 
They're like alien hands. Let's see. Ooh. That looks awesome. There's like this light bright thing here. And if you turn them, it changes the color. Oh, see, I thought it was like that game where you have to match. Oh no, you just make it make a design. Turn some of them. That's pretty awesome. We're going to the astronaut exhibit, which is a traveling exhibit that's here. Uh, yeah, all about astronauts. So they were they were telling us that it's not necessarily about like how the astronauts are in space, like how space travel is. It's more how their bodies like react to being in space, like the fluid in their body or stuff like that, like stuff that you don't normally think about. That's um, pretty neat. Yeah, so I'm excited. I can't wait. Here we go. Let's see what they've got going on. Oh, look, there's like a giant spaceship right here. Holy macaroni. It looks like the spaceship or the space station right here. I feel like if, if, you, were, if you were a Disney princess who was also an astronaut, I think you'd be Ariel. What? Yeah, because you'd be like, look at this spaceship. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, they're like in there and it looks like it shakes around a bunch and everything. This looks like we're heading into the space station. Look, they have like a little cupola right here. What do you see? Well, I think it's like a hologram or something. How do they do this? Oh. Plants in space. <laughs> Are you gonna test your reaction time? What do you do? You push the green button, right? And then when the blue button lights up, hit it. Ooh, how'd you do? 0.36 seconds. Is that That's good? pretty fast. Let me see if I can do faster. Let me do, let me, that was a warm up. Okay, that was a warm up. Ooh, 0.24. Okay. I feel like you're cheating. No! <laughs> you cheated. Did they really get out of the vending machine? No, but I wish they did get their stuff from a vending machine in space. I think it would be kind of ridiculous. They have a G-Force simulator here. And then it's like the teacups, it looks like. They just spin it. Oh, there they go. They're spinning. Oh, they're picking up speed. Picking up speed. We're gonna get in line for this. We're inside of it now. I can't tighten my thing. I think you're okay. Okay, all right. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Everybody on the outside saying, let's watch them because they're gonna go super fast. Oh, so no. you better be ready to go very fast. I'm trying. <laughs> all right, I'm joining in. Oh, goodness. <laughs> we're going so fast. I think oh, we can man. do it. I think we can do it. We're up to, we're up to. We did it. A G. 9.92 G. We did it. We did it. 999. A little bit faster. There it goes. We did it. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Whoa. Okay, let's hit the brake. All right, here we go. We're hitting the brake. Did you show that it's out of G? Yeah, I did. Wow, I'm so dizzy. I know. This is pretty intense. Holy cow. Woo. All right. We made it. Okay, you go first. All right. I, I don't know if I can. I'm super dizzy. Okay. Whoa. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm good. Next is grip in a space suit. Okay. All right. So I think Do you I just... Yeah, well, I mean, I don't think you have to. All right, grip them. How strong is your grip? Whoa, 28. I don't know, kilograms. That's Whoa. that's kind of, you're you're a pretty strong grip lady. What's the, what's like the average? Because I want to beat that. I don't know, let me try it and we'll see. We'll see if you have a stronger grip than I do. You'll obviously have a stronger grip than me. No, not necessarily. I think so, because you weigh more, so you can, hit, you can pull more. Let's see. No, okay. it's all muscles. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Wait, are you being for real? Wait, are you being serious? You must have like super strength. No, do it for real. Okay. No, do it for fake again. <laughs> this thing's kind of awesome. You put a parachute in there and you aim for this bullseye over here. We've set up the parachute. Jen's gonna jump on it. Whoa, oh look, look, look. Oh, you were so close. <laughs> Dang! I'm gonna tell you the truth. That hurt my knees because I'm old. Oh no! All right, my turn. Here we go. I'm not gonna use this thing. I'm oh no! You're just gonna jump? You ready? Okay. Oh my god! Did you get it? Oh, you almost got it. Using infrared to spot the damage. Looks like we've got some damaged spots on the space station over there. Oh no! Here's Jen. Oh yeah. Look, you can see, you can see all your warm face areas. I like it. Oh, your your elbow pits are warm. Oh, no. Tim, your forearms are so warm, and your knees. Look how warm your knees are. Oh no, and right here, what's what's this? Your knees are really hot. You got some hot knees, and your butt's cold. As your body changes in space, because your joints all expand. 
So how tall are you? Five foot seven. How tall are you? Lies. Oh, Six look, three? I, I, I grew. Well, that's because you're like on your tippy toes. Am I? You just keep cheating in all of these games. You can't be taller Welcome. and stronger. Six foot six. Oh no. Jen. Yeah. Have you ever wondered how astronauts use the bathroom in space? I have wondered. Space toilet. Can we sit on this? Yeah. You want to know the the weirdest part? Do you know where you pee? Where? Oh my God! Are you serious? <laughs> yes. How do girls do it? Same way. I want to show you. Using the space toilet. How you can lift. Gross. <laughs> There is. What is this? That's to hold you down. You know what my new band name is? Commode control. This is a really fun little exercise. So the person on the other side is gonna call out things that are wrong, and then we have to give him the code to fix is it. Molten. Hi. Press orange button, then move lever to bottom. So he's seeing something different on the other side, and then at the end, hopefully, we'll fix the problem together. Press red button, then press blue button. Ooh, I think we're gonna fix it. Did we fix it? Yay! You fixed it! Yeah! Nice work! We, we saved the astronauts. They're showing how astronauts wash their hair in space. I think the most interesting part is they don't have any running water in space. So how? what are they using? Very little water and dry shampoo. Oh wow! So you never really get to take a real shower. No, and you never get to wash your clothes either. Oh my goodness, I did not know that. Now we are headed downstairs to check out some of the more natural aspects of the museum. And we wanted to show you, in the middle of the museum, there's a large tree. And down at the bottom there, there are some uh, reptiles and fish. See that turtle? Check out all of those turtles and little gators. I think they just got fed. And I really love how just turtles and alligators can be friends. Yeah. I think that's pretty awesome. Look at this tigu. He's big. He's sleepy too. Well, no, there's a there's a tortoise out and about. Oh, wow. Just walking around. He's so curious. Oh yeah. Yes. Especially with the bright colorful shoes. Ooh, they have a huge reef tank here with all kinds of tropical fish in it. Look at this Asian vine snake. He's eating a cricket. This is a Timor monitor. Ooh, the tiger salamander. He's like right here. There's another one over there. Look at these gopher tortoises. They're just hanging out. An art installment up here on the third floor called Paper. A lot of different things made out of paper. Pretty neat. Oh, I like this one with the octopus. I really like this globe. It has sections of map folded into triangles in the middle of it. I have to walk backwards because the wind is blowing and I don't want to mess up my hair. No. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're, that was it. That was a fantastic trip to the Science Center. We have to make it back to our train. But we're gonna try to get something to eat first. We're gonna check out the hospital. Yeah, there's a hospital right across the street here. We were asking some people in the Science Center, like, oh, where'd you get your food? And they were like, oh, we just ran across the street to the hospital, and apparently they have uh, delicious vegetarian options. Yeah. So, let's, let's, we've never tried it, let's do it. Let's give it a try. So here's the hospital, and basically we're going past the emergency room, and then going inside to the cafe. Here's what I ended up getting, a Southwestern wrap. Man, that looks pretty okay. We finished our food, and now we're just in the Walt Disney Pavilion of Florida Hospital. So I think this is the children's hospital portion of the hospital, right? Yeah. So this is really neat. This is like the waiting room, I think. Yeah. And look, look, look at the theming. Well, this is like a game. Oh, it's like memory. Oh, yeah. And here's Baloo. Look at him. And there's Flounder over in the distance. Well, and look at all these like theming back Oh, no. It's scary sounding. What is this? Do we push it? Or is it just for like looking? I think it's just for looking. Oh. Well, that's pretty neat. There's also like this big chair here. Who are these mooses? Um, are those from Brother Bear? Maybe. Look at the lobster. Oh no, we're under the sea. What's this one? Ooh. How neat is that? Oh, it's popping. Oh, oh my gosh, it's a game. Look at the Lion King stuff. Go up and touch it. Do that one. Wow. And now we wait for our train back home. Come on, ride that train and ride it me, me. What an excellent trip down to the Orlando Science Center and a super fun ride on the sunrail. We're starting to like use the sunrail more. The schedule is a little bit funny, but when you can get it just right,
So nice. Science Center, so much fun. Like, we got to see New Kids Town, we got to see the astronaut exhibit, we got to see the animals. If you guys are here on vacation and you're looking for something to do on a rainy day or even on a sunny day, like you just want a nice, relaxing, educational day, head down to the Orlando Science Center. The only thing that I forgot to do and I'm super bummed about is we didn't go to the gift shop. Cause Science Center gift shops always have the coolest stuff. Yes. So we have to go back. But with that being said though, we are off. Yeah. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.